the mass media campaign to be carried out under the theme Get Vaccinated, Help Kick COVID-19 Out of Namibia is part of government's effort to achieve herd immunity. Vaccine hesitancy remains a thorn in the flesh of government made worse by fake news which creates confusion among those who are yet to decide. The Minister of Information Communication Technology Dr. Pea Mushelenga says it is crucial for individuals to promote the transmission of right information and promote a vaccine positive mind. As a society, we must reject and guard against all forms of misinformation that has the potential to derail our good progress. The World Health Organization country representative, Dr. Charles Sagoe Moses, has commended Namibia for the timely initiative as the pandemic worsened. Namibia needs to vaccinate at least 10,000 people per day to reach the target of vaccinating approximately 60% of the population by December 2021. However, Dr. Sagoe Moses said, Namibia still has a long way to go in successfully rolling out the vaccination drive. Prime Minister Sarah Kugongewa Amadira says the country needs to educate the nation to differentiate between factual and fake news around the vaccine. Communication is an important cornerstone of these efforts, as it is important to share clear and accurate and transparent information to build vaccine confidence in the community. The materials we are launching today will therefore help us convey consistent information through multiple communication channels and platforms to help in the voluntary uptake of the vaccine. The Premier noted it is encouraging to see the number of people buying into the vaccine increasing. Over 171,000 people in Namibia received the first dose of the vaccine with over 51,000 fully vaccinated. The COVID-19 pandemic, however, keeps worsening with over 5 million deaths and over 200 million cases recorded worldwide as at the 4th of August. In the past four weeks alone, the infections have increased by about 80% in five of the six of the World Health Organization regions, including the African region. About 130 countries have detected the highly transmissible Delta variant, which is responsible for the death increase. During the week of the 30th of July, 76% of the death in the World Health Organization African region were from five countries, including Namibia. Timo Andreas, NBC News, Ventuk.